What's up guys, it's Jacob Randall Holmes, and if you're new here, remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you're not, thank you so much for watching. Today, we are reviewing my favorite roller camera bag, the alternative to the Pelican roller bag, the Nanook 935. Let's check it out. Maybe it's a new beginning, maybe it's the start of where it ends. I know, I know. It comes down to all or nothing. This time it's for real, we can't pretend. You know, you know. They're closing in. And I don't want to miss a shot. Adrenaline. So give it everything that you got. Don't stop. reasons why the Nano 935 is my favorite and we'll start off with the obvious ones it's just how much this bad boy can hold in it so my content creation needs kind of fall in three fields um, content creation for social media wedding photography and videography and then three camera angle podcasting so I travel around with quite a lot of things in this bad boy Right now, what is not in the bag is the Sony a7S III with the vertical battery grip and the 16 to 35 G Master. That is what usually will go in whatever camera backpack I'm traveling with. When I'm doing a normal, not super, super, super heavy travel trip, that's where that camera's at. But inside it, you have a large slew of things. Um, I do everything in my content creation from traditional video angles, and shooting scenarios to drone work. When you have the drone, my drone of choice is the Mavic Air 2. I think I'm upgrading not to a new drone system, but I will have a new drone in my bag shortly, I believe. But the drone comes with the drone controller, which is about the size of the drone. And it comes, of course, with the two batteries because I got the fly, more, the fly more combo. I have the charger for both of my cameras on me. I have ND filters. I have three that I need. I have the 82 millimeter for my 16-35 and 24-70 f2.8 G Master. I have the 77 millimeter for the 100-400 and the 72 millimeter for my 50 millimeter 1.2 G Master. Plus, you know, just multiple miscellaneous things. I have batteries. And my favorite thing about the Nanak 935 photo kit is this top portion of the bag is really perfect for batteries, hard drives, anything that's tiny like that slides in here really well. Typically, I keep the batteries in this top one. I, I have, I believe, five batteries. Um, and then the hard drives go in this pocket with their cables. Usually there's three or four of the Samsung T7 and T5s in there. And by the way, these are great if you are a video creator. Um, yeah, and then, well, I saved the best for last. This is my main camera kit. My first journey into Sony was actually about a year ago to the day, maybe like December 20th. I picked up this camera. This is the Sony FX3. This camera is absolutely phenomenal. I absolutely love it. It has changed the way that I view video and it is my absolute camera of choice. If I was gonna recommend anything to you, unless you're in a very specific scenario, this is the go-to video camera cinematographer's camera. This is the go-to content creation camera, low light camera, all the things. I have zero, I have one complaint about this camera and I will save that because that is worth a video of its own. 50 millimeter, 1.2 G Master. Just, you couldn't ask for any more with this lens. It is just absolutely perfect. I, I have no complaints. My second camera into the Sony system was actually this one right here, which is the Sony a7 IV. And the Sony a7 IV came out at the end of 2021. This thing is just simply the perfect hybrid camera. It is absolutely phenomenal 
for photos. I shot an engagement session with just the 2470 F2.8 G Master and the bokeh, the bokeh, the sharpness, even on the Gen 1. I know the Gen 2 came out, everyone loves it, but this is just a match made in heaven. And when you put the 1.2 G Master, get out of here, it's amazing. But these two very large cameras traveling this bad boy. I switched from Canon to Sony like, I kid you not, a week before they discontinued the DSLR cameras and I just still got a lot of money for my Canon gear. It was amazing timing. But since I have Sony, Sony is the low light king and instead of going for the 70 to 200 because everyone hates the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 is like just shy of $3,000, and uh, that was just a little bit too much for me because I just, 70 to 200 F2.8 is a staple. However, for my needs, I would only ever be using it at weddings. And if I ever had like a content creation gig that like would require it, I would usually just go with the 2470, punch in all the way to 70 at F2.8. It's just as good. It is, I'm sorry. If you disagree, please tell me in the comments below why I'm an idiot. But I ended up going for this lens, the Sony 100 to 400. Let me just tell you, the comical element of this guy is absolutely fantastic. Uh-huh, gotta love it. Anyways, um, this also lives in my Nanook 935. So I have three camera bodies that can fit in here. None of my cameras at the moment have cards in them except for the a7S III because I'm about to get on a plane after a gig this evening. So I'm just gonna um, hope that I don't cause an absolute disaster, but I'm just gonna tilt this up so you guys can kind of see what's on the inside. Lovely, right? Oh, you know what? This could be an amazing, I want, would this be a good thumbnail, maybe? Oh. If I made vertical content of different ways that you can fit things, in the Nanook 935 or different packing scenarios. Would you watch that? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that little look inside the Nanook 935, but I think for the rest of this video, we're gonna do it from a little bit of a colder climate. <laughs> All right guys, so here we are. We are now in the literal tundra of Southeastern Ohio. It is currently 20 degrees and I am literally freezing and I am gonna try to wrap this up as fast as I can. So my favorite Nanook commercial that they do is they have one of their bigger roller bags out in, I believe, Antarctica or the Arctic, somewhere where there's polar bears and they actually leave it so a polar bear comes up and plays with it. Um, I can't really get you that here, but I did get you the snow. Anyways, um, I wanted to go over just a couple of tech specs on the Nanook roller bag before I let you go. The Nanook 935 has dimensions of 20.5 by 11 by 3 by 7.5 inches interior. It is crushed, dust, and waterproof. Believe it or not, there's actually a video out there of somebody tossing the Nanook 935 into the ocean or a lake or something. I'm not gonna do that, mainly just because I I'm not gonna put it through unnecessary stress because I love it that much. There are three ways you can purchase the Nanook 935. I have purchased it in two ways. There is the um, camera, cube, and top insert for organization for a photographer or videographer. You can get it with a foam top on the lid and a foam cube in it that you can cut, it, cut out and design to your own uses. And then finally, for the cheapest price, you can get it completely empty and do whatever you want inside of it or put whatever you would like. You can get your own foam, you can get your own dividers, or you can put other pieces of luggage in there as well. It's very protective for things like that. One of the biggest pieces of praises that the Nanook gets is its extendable handle. It is famous for going taller than the um, Pelican alternative. This way you can walk with it behind you and not have to walk with it to the side. Um, the Pelicans are famous for actually flipping over or being knocked over because the um, handle is too short. You will not experience that with the Nanook. Okay, I'm really, really running out of strength here. It is freezing. So last thing, um, it has got a lightweight NK7 polypropylene resin on it. It's got the power claw latching system, which is fantastic and very easy to open fast. Um, I've never had a problem trying to get something out of the Nanook. Um, it's got an automatic pressure release valve. I don't know, oh, the automatic pressure release valve actually keeps the lid from falling open or like shutting in an awkward way or closing your hands or anything like that. So that's fantastic. 
and oh my gosh, it's got a molded in bezel system and padlock holes, and it's got a comfortable, soft handle grip that I absolutely love. All right, we're gonna continue the rest of this review in the car because I'm freezing. Oh my gosh, I'll be back for you. Anyway guys, I hope so much that you've enjoyed this video and I really hope that I have expressed how much I truly love using the Nanook 935, how it is my favorite camera roller bag and honestly, it is the only one that I want to have in my possession because I've had the Pelican in my hands before. Um, it, I don't like the design, I don't like the exterior layout. I haven't really tested it, but if Pelican would like to send me one, I will happily check it out. But what I would much rather have happen is if Nanook, oh my gosh, could send me that yellow Nanook 935 or the yellow anything in any of the roller bags, I would love to review that product and I will make the most fantastic video you can possibly imagine. I'm actually going to Hawaii on a trip that I was really lucky to be invited on in March and I would love, 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 love to review that bag in Hawaii. It'd be phenomenal. I also have some other trips coming up, so if you have anything Nanook, please feel free to send it this way. Anyway guys, I hope so much that you've enjoyed this video. Happy New Year to you. New videos coming this week and the first week of 2023, and I will see you guys in the next one. And remember, if you're new here, like, comment, subscribe, and if you're not, thank you so much for showing up. See you next time. Bye -bye.